सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस दिस बेल आइकन टू नेवर मिस अनादर लेक्चर वीडियो Jail Gate ESC lecture. We are in lecture number 69 of Signals and System, and here we are in the module of Fourier transform. And there is a very simple three important points that I want to share with you. It is going to be a very small video lecture, but do not miss it. It's a very simple point. All of you knows it. The only way that is, I am just revising those those points to you. Uh, analysis of linear time invariant continuous time system using four year transform it is four year okay i just okay this is four year transform okay four year transform now the first uh, the first point is nothing but it's a very simple point that is a transfer function of a lti continuous time system we know if there is a, s a system whose impulse response is h of t in the frequency domain that h of t is nothing but h of j omega similarly the excitation is that is given to the system is x of t in frequency domain x of j omega y t the response the frequency domain that is nothing but y of j omega so h of j omega that is nothing but called as a transfer function which is nothing but y of j omega divided by x of j omega where x of j omega and y of j omega are the fourier transform of the input to the continuous time system and output of the continuous time system respectively this is your first point second a very important point is in a freak in a time domain in time domain this is nothing but your convolution the response that you are getting the response that you are getting the output that you are getting from your system that is nothing but your convolution of input and your impulse response but in frequency domain that convolution converted to multiplication right so that value will nothing but your output the fourier transform of your output the fourier transform of your response is nothing but the multiplication of the fourier transform of your input and your uh transfer function so transfer function is nothing but y of j omega by x of j omega so this is nothing but transfer function in a frequency domain simple third very important point is the transfer function e is is nothing but a complex quantity it has a magnitude function and it has a phase function as well so magnitude function is nothing but the real part a square and imaginary part square phase function is nothing but tan inverse of imaginary part divided by real part it's a very simple things and we know these three points from our childhood we know that uh, i'm really sorry for boring you with this lecture but in the next video lecture we'll get into the bandwidth concept basically we'll cover only those concepts which are extremely important for your gate and engineering service exam so i'll i'm going to focus more and more on different kinds of question that might ask in your gate exam and that has been asked in your gate exam as well so all of those things we'll going to discuss in the next video lecture that will be our lecture number 70 i think yes so keep watching chill do subscribe to our channel see you in the next lecture bye